Okay guys, welcome we're back down here to St Anne's Old Lake. I've got Nick Sharples from Scotty Cameron. Uh, we've just literally done a video, which should be on my channel now, just talking a little bit about the new Phantom X range from Scotty Cameron. A little bit of the in-depth tech of what's happening in the head. There's a lot of interesting facts in there, so if you want to go and check that out, um, maybe just pause this video, go and jump into that video, uh, have a little look at that. But this video, we're going to look at a fitting. So Nick's yep. going to fit me for the ideal putter. Okay, uh, hopefully, because you've got a bit, of a, a bit of a challenge on your hands here with my putting stroke. So Nick's going to look at my stroke, see what sort of arc I'm putting into it. Um, yeah. Obviously a bit of feedback from me, maybe on the looks I like, a yeah. bit of feel. Um, so really interested to test these because believe it or not, I've never owned a Scotty Cameron putter. Right, okay. That's, uh, <laughs> that's that first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've just, yeah, I've just never owned one. Quite interested to sort of have a go, have a go with these, okay. um, so we'll get stuck into the uh, fitting. Perfect. Right, okay Nick, so okay. I'm in your hands. Perfect. Should we just start with? So, a big part of any kind of, kind of education side or fitting that we do with any kind of golfer, whether that be a tour player or uh, amateur, amateur golfer, consumer golfer, is looking at the putts for a start because looks and styles is very personal to each golfer so yeah, 100%. You know, you've got a few if you like the design a certain look of a head that's going to inspire confidence anyway if we have confidence yeah. straight away that's a big aspect of, I know, of holding yeah, putts I know for so. me, you know like you're in a pro shop right? you put a putter down this is probably the same for a lot of yeah. you guys out there it's like instant oh yeah i like that or mm -hmm. oh, no i don't like that it's exactly instant sort of re reaction to the shape of the head into it yeah so you know it's very something inspired so what i always trying to get any kind of golfer to do is pick maybe one two different heads out maybe yeah. three just from a, a looks perspective feel and then just kind of have a look get hit a few puts just to kind of get nice and used to the break and then yeah. and the pace and then what we're going to start to look at here is kind of looking at key setups through posture and the setup of the putter through the yeah. length because first thing what we're going to try and gauge at is well how much arc is in your stroke so we always kind of work off a try and get a good 15 to 20 foot putt because if I go quite a short putt, yeah. I'm not going to see quite a lot of arc there. So I'm wanting to get in a good enough length there to kind of see how much arc we've got. Correct, yeah. So what we're going to have a look at is things like, well, what kind of length do we need? <clears throat> what kind of toe flow is going yeah. to suit your style of stroke? And then from there, again, it's, it becomes very personal to yourself. Once we kind of know where the length and toe flow works, you know, there might be a certain head that helps you align better from a yeah. visual aspect. You know, it's kind of then really kind of goes down into what you like yeah. the look of. Would you say through sales of Scotties, would you say the, the uh, mallets are more popular now? I mean, they, they've progressively become a lot popular. I think that's why Scotties, when he's made a mallet, has kind of gone out there with it. Yeah. You know, like I say, the the select line of uh, this is a very traditional kind of style that everyone knows him for the Newport 2 head, right? Yeah. Whereas when he kind of looks at the mallet, especially in Phantom X, it's, it's so different to anything that he's made before. Yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit out there, a little bit different, definitely. I think visually, so. you know, I think a lot of golfers, I mean, for me through coaching and, and you know, putters, it's, it's tough for guys to align. Yeah. That's probably the exactly, first yeah. some, some guys have got really good strokes, but they just can't, can't align. align yeah. Read the green grey, but they can't set it off on that actual uh, intended line. So I think mallets, you know, with the lines, what exactly. the Phantom X is doing here, I think, well, for me personally, it's massive. It's, and, and, there's, uh, alignment. and even within that as well, there's so many variations yeah. in terms of alignment. So kind of how you're... You know, your subconscious and your brain and your yeah. eyes pick up on things. There might be a certain head style or setup of a line configuration that's going to help you exactly the, the way that the head styles yeah. and looks at. So, yeah, um, okay. yeah perfect. So, what we're going to start with? You tell me. <laughs> right, so I've got to pick some favourites. Yep. Probably those three. If I was going to okay. say three out of those. Perfect. Okay. Right, so out of them, just any Yanni you want to kind of gravitate to first. Um, we'll just hit a few puts just so you can get an idea of what the pace and what the line is. And then yeah. from there, what we're going to start looking at here, what I'm going to try and do is just get feedback from yourself. So any feedback you can give me, yep. we're going to start using a little bit of video. Okay. So a big thing from how we look at a fitting, um, obviously we have the studio out in the States where Scotty will invite players and the players kind of come in sure to get a bit more research. There. I know it would have been nice <laughs> one. It would take this big jumper off and yeah. the, the Under Armour as well. But the, the whole idea behind that is that we're using the high speed camera to give you visual cues about what's going on with your stroke. You know, Scotty's not a massive believer around technology, so we, yeah. we don't use things like Quintech or Stro um, Sam Putt Lab. Okay, that's interesting. Um, you know, through the high-speed cameras that we've kind of looked through working with the best players in the world and then gravitate, you know, if if, I'm, if we're at a tour event or a consumer event or something doing right now, the way I'm going to fit you right now is the same way we'd fit someone out on tour if I was okay. coming here in a few weeks' time doing the day yeah. for Dan. So, yeah, yeah we get... Yeah. 
high speed camera, we get slow mo camera, just kind of looking at setup, visuals, and then it's, it's that instant feedback. Yeah. Um, Scotty yeah. calls it the art of putting. The, so it's how the ball reacts to the, the putter and how the putter reacts to the player and vice versa. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to do first of all, Mike, is just hit a few putts, kind of get the idea for the pace and line. Um, might ask you a few questions as well, stuff like that. So. So from a talk to me about a good a good a good putting round and a bad putting round. Oof, good putting round and bad putting round. Um, it's it's definitely not a strength for me putting. Okay. Um, In what aspect? Well, I struggle with alignment. Okay. Which is one of the reasons why I always tend to go in more mallet to try and assist mm -hmm. uh, that process. Yep. Um, so I know my alignment's not great, but my alignment's not great really because I tend to what I feel is I hug the face on the way back. Okay. And then I try and reopen it on the way through, but that obviously leads to a few inconsistencies. So I struggle okay. to start the, the put. Struggle with my alignment and really struggle to start the put on the line that I okay. want to try and choose really. So buying process for me has always been is trying to find a putter that sits really square. If anything sits slightly hooded or okay. closed, yeah. I've been it. Yeah, okay. Um, so, you know, really the way it sits, alignment aids is quite important to me, really. Okay, cool. And relative to kind of style of player, would, are you a guy that wants to take it a bit more straight back, straight through? Or are, you, are you trying to create a little bit of an arc, or are you trying to just do what the putter naturally would, is wanting Probably to do? Probably a little do? bit, yeah, something I don't really think about. Okay. I'll just let the putter work, but if anything, I would, I, I feel like I'm more, and you'll tell me a little bit more here, but I feel like I'm more straight back, straight through, okay. more than a, yep. a sort of big arc. Okay. In a way. Okay, pretty happy with that kind of pace and line? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Right, what we're going to do, just to kind of get an idea, I'm just going to get a couple of videos just to kind of have a look through setup and kind of okay. sit and see what kind of, where that's looking at where we're at the moment. We'll kind of have a bit of a chat about the video and then yeah. we'll kind of go from there, okay? Okay. Perfect. One more for me. Okay. Typical miss that. Right, okay. A bit pushy. Let's get one face on okay. as well. Okay. You feel a bit steery on the way through. Yeah. Right, okay, so just look at the stroke here, Nick. Yeah, so, so. from a set up position, kind of eye lines in a pretty, it's not a b too bad of a position, it's kind of like just kind of in that heel, that putter, maybe just yeah. a touch inside. So okay. And that was a 35 inch. That's 35 inch. Yeah. So what I'm looking at now is kind of looking through that stroke and kind of seeing how much art's kind of going in there and is that kind of put, is that head style working with that. So as you can see here, as we got kind of to the apex of the top of the stroke there and throughout the stroke backswing is that you can kind of see how that head's going a little bit kind of almost, it's pointing at the ball, it's kind of going shut against it. So it's maybe not working with that, with that arc and then yeah. As we get to the top, going through the ball, there's a little bit of a almost a bit, bit of a loop round there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and then we kind of get through, and it looks just looks a bit kind of steery on the way through. You can see how that that face position is kind of working on there. So and I feel that as well. That yeah, feel, like what I mentioned before, I feel like kind of a bit more. And then so to open it. What we can maybe look at here is we can still look at the same, obviously, because we talked about the differences in the previous video about the option models. Now we have. So let's look at maybe what the 5.5 will do in terms okay. of let's see if that will get you in any more kind of so that's a bit more toe flow bit more toe flow so That'd let's see if we can get a head design or a neck design should I say that maybe just going to help you match up that stroke a little bit better and let's just see what we get on video okay cool cool right so Nick so we've gone so, so remind me five point so five point five so we talked about in looking at the video there kind of how maybe the head was kind of maybe working against your yeah. stroke yeah. so let's just see where there's slightly different neck position will help you kind of... Yeah, so the 5.5, so all the 0.5s and the different head models, obviously this is the 5.5. Yeah, uh, 7.5 7 and an 8.5 as well. So They're all the short neck. Short neck, which is going to give you the, a little bit oh, more toe flow. Right, cool. So let's just see if that kind of neck design is just going to help you kind of work with your, with your stroke. Yeah, it's very different to what I've been used to. That. I don't know, it just sort of looks... Like it hugs the floor a bit more. Okay, cool, perfect. So yeah, quite stuff like, like visual cues and stuff like that is really, really good. Yeah, quite like the... So let's just hit a few puts and any feedback you can give me, bud. Yeah, that 
feels better straight away. Okay, in, in what kind of way? Can you feel any differences within how the head's yeah, working? Bit, yeah, it does okay. feel like it's more, which sometimes subtly it feels like it's 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 going to be less consistent, doesn't it? Because it's a lot you think of it's a lot of opening and closing. Well, I've got but to time that back again. But obviously, what I'm actually but doing, that's what you're doing is if you yeah. if, if you're bringing more variables into it in terms of how you're manipulating it yeah. with your hands and body, it's you know your timing consistency is going to be really really good. But let's just hit a few hit, hit a few puts and we can have a look. Sound is very different. Okay. I don't know whether that's. It feels a lot sweeter off the off the cut face though. Okay. Strike feels a lot better. From a visual in terms of alignment, do you like how the head's kind of setting up? You, yeah. Is it? Is I mean, it? I've got a ping at the moment. It's a very similar shape. I've always liked that. Okay. Sort of shape. So it's perfect. Sit to my eye. That yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel that. One more for me. We'll have a look at the video. So is it, if you were to pick up on anything there within the strut, what would you, what sensation or feel would you get that's working differently to the, the putter you're using before? Um, it feels a bit more solid off the, the sound is a lot more muted. Okay. Um, but it feels a much more, it's like it's hugging the ground a little bit more. It feels like it's, it's just sort of rolls off the face a little okay, bit better. Perfect. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a quick look at the like video. The feel of that. Perfect. So that doesn't look as hooded, does it? Doesn't look as bad. No, it looks a little bit more. Still got that little bit of a little loop. loop. That's you know, me. We're never gonna. <laughs> we're never gonna change everything. Have you not got away. one? That <laughs> so you can kind of see it's working in there. It doesn't look as bad. You can yeah. see it's kind of trying to match up with it a little bit better. And then the way through, you can kind of see how it's still trying still to guide a, bit a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But that's more me, isn't it? That's in terms of what you do. But that's a technique, isn't it? But I think that does feel better than that first one you gave me. Yeah. The first one was the higher neck. Was the higher neck, neck so the yeah. more face balanced yeah. kind of style. Let me get you into um, just hit a few puts with the number. We picked up the number seven in the first place, didn't we? we so did, yeah, yeah. Just hit a few puts with this one again for me. Uh, feedback, visuals. So again, this is seven point five. So the short neck. Yeah. Short neck one. Like a good stroke. That feels good. I like the lines. Yeah. Uh, just feels like I've got that tunnel to feel like I can line it up, but also just get the stroke working down it. Perfect. That looks a bit better. That's good. Yeah. So from a from a visual standpoint, from a looks like the style, is it kind of? Yeah, I like. I think I prefer that shape. Of the five. I quite like the lines. Okay. Just to be really awkward. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the lines on it. Oh, so that's a bad one. Yeah. That's my bad one. Feels a lot um a lot quieter on the strikes. Okay, interesting. So feedback like that is great. you can see from there what's my alignment like initially it's a little bit out to the right so you kind of more, with the the head there you're aiming more towards that's that's better it's really kind of get that feel that that put is flowing in the stroke for me look good feedback with this kind of head yeah i like it um i, think I just prefer the other one other one okay uh, we'll hit a few more puts with that a better stroke okay let's hit a few puts more kind of around to assess from a few different kind of breaks and kind of so the idea that we're still trying to repeat that stroke but let's yeah. just kind of see how it's working Going a bit closer from a different few different angles as well yeah. okay sure. so what i want you to do here for me as well is it's really kind of important we're kind of replicating what we do out on the golf course okay. so if you use a line on the ball if you aim up to it it's four puts but i really kind of want to get you an idea of kind of what you do out on the golf course yeah. and same up for me and just kind of yeah. let's go through that process and just kind of let's replicate like what we do out on the golf course okay. and all i want you to do here buddy is just really get, get in that settle position just really kind of get that feeling that the putter is flowing right. for me yeah just let the putter do what it's do what it's designed to do exactly yeah. that the putter is going to do the work for you
Nice pop. Oop. Looks solid. There you go, so we're getting nice and set up. Use the alignment and really get that sensation that the putter's flowing for me. Good. Feels good. Feedback wise, strike wise, feels. Yeah, it, uh, that feels the best to me. Okay. Feels more like the ball's just effortlessly coming off. Yeah. Very quiet on the sound, which I like. Good. Uh, it feels like it's just rolling straight away. Perfect. Hugging the ground. That's it. I get the idea. Let the putter flow for me. Perfect. Nice pop. Well, it could be the one there. <laughs> this for the masters. <laughs> There we go, let it flow. Oh. Good pulley. Give yourself a tester for the Masters. That was a bit worse for the pressure there. <laughs> but from when we first started, kind of, what are you feeling? I feel more confident with this, but definitely. Uh... Yeah, nice pop. Yeah, yeah I definitely feel. Uh, um, more confident with that. Okay. The shape I like. I've always liked that particular shape. Um, I quite like that neck, to be honest. It just yeah. feels like everything's a bit closer to the, to ground. the ground. Okay, and it's stuff like that. You know, everything got in, especially in putters. It's is what can we give you that's going to give you good visual cues. Yeah. Give you confidence. Yeah. It's a huge part of it. But yeah. let's look, and that's why we use the video. Is kind of well, let's see what's going on. Yeah. Is there anything in there that we can look at in a, in a design of head and? Yeah. Can we just make something a little bit easy for you? You know, if we can get you, you know, what we're trying to do is replicate whatever you do it when at your address at impact to impact. Can we kind of replicate the same kind of things? Yeah, and if we can get that yeah. putter back to square yeah. easy for you, yeah, take some of them variables away. Yeah, yeah, that's how we're going to get more put starting on its line and, and going in the hole. Absolutely, and there's obviously an the aspect of what I'm doing to uh, me, uh, of that as well. And if, you know, if a putter can allow me to. Feel like I can change that technique and give you more, just more, more consistency. That's got to be a good thing, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So feel happy. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Done. So that was thirty-five five. inch, and then we're going with the five point five short neck, a little bit more, more kind of toe hang, a little bit more flow. Yeah. yeah. Sounds Perfect. great. Super. Okay, that feels really good, guys. So um, interesting way of doing fittings, a little bit maybe different without yep. the tech as much. Just yep. a little bit of video, which is which is quite refreshing, really. Um, confirmed a few things that I'm doing in the stroke, mm -hmm. um, obviously for me to go and wear work on. But that felt really good. Um, that could be uh, potentially one to go in the bag, maybe my first ever Scotty Cameron putter. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thanks very much, Nick. For yeah, your no, time. Pal. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you very much. Really good service there. We have got fitting experience uh, day down here at St Anne's Old Links on the 1st of May. May, yep. Um, so we are taking appointments with Nick, so if you want to come down and book in, then obviously give us a shout, comment down below, or find me an email, you can do that. Um, but yeah, that was really interesting. Uh, yep. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow the social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter, and hopefully we'll catch you all very soon.